Okay, so this is an exam question from OCR, um, an old exam paper, F325, which is the Equilibria Energetics and Elements paper, January 2013. And I've chosen this question because it's one of the hardest, um, the most difficult redox um, um, titration questions that I have seen. Um, it is the final question on the paper, question 8C part two um, and I thought that uh, it would be good to work through this question so you can see how to do this um, which I think is one of the most difficult redox titration questions in the A-level exam papers. Okay so um, this is the question here, question eight. Now the first part of the question is quite um, straightforward. It's electron configuration um, and uh, why vanadium doesn't form ions quite straightforward um, and then um, this is the part here part C uh, which is the bit that I want to um, um, to go through so a student carries out an investigation into the oxidation states of vanadium as outlined below and there's stage one stage two stage three a lot of information and there is also more information here as well okay now part one here is again a, a standard question and not really the part I want to go through with you. The bit I want to go with, through with you is part two. It's got seven marks and it's one of the most difficult um, redox um, titration questions that I've seen. So it says, analyze the student's results as follows. Determine the value of N in the VN plus ions formed in stage two. And the second part is construct an equation, a redox equation for the reaction that takes place during the titration, which is a redox titration. Um, okay, so and I'm going to show you how to how to um, to work this answer out. Okay, so given this information in part C, then I think it's a really good idea when you're given a lot of text like that is to turn it into something really, really simple. So stage one, a sample of vanadium metal. So I'm gonna turn that into something very, very simple. So vanadium metal, solid vanadium metal. Okay, and they tell you how much, so 0 0.126 grams. So I'm gonna just write it underneath, 0 0.126 grams of vanadium metal okay um, it's completely reacted with acid all right so this is not this is not a balanced equation this is just a simplification simplifying what um, is written in the text okay so it reacts with acid so i'm on stage one to form a yellow solution okay so it forms a yellow so it forms a yellow solution Okay, so it's aqueous and forms a yellow solution. Okay, and then um, the solution is made up to 50 centimeters cubed in a volumetric flask. So again, I'm just writing what it says into a very simple, very simple scheme. This yellow solution contains VO3 minus ions. So this yellow solution is VO3 minus ions. Okay, right, then stage two. Stage two, the yellow solution is reduced. Okay, so this yellow this is stage two now. The yellow solution is reduced. Okay, this is the yellow solution, the same yellow solution. And it's reduced to what? It says it's reduced to a violet solution containing, this is in stage two, containing VN plus ions. So VN plus ions and it's violet. Okay, violet solution. Right, and then stage three, you take 10 centimeters cubed of the violet solution. So again, we've got the violet solution, but we only take 10 centimeters cubed of it. So remember that there is 50, there's 50 centimeters cubed, but we're only taking 10 of it now, okay, 10. 
of the violet solution. Um, and it's titrated with potassium manganate. Okay, redox titrations, I'm going to ignore the spectator ion, the potassium, and I'm just going to put the manganate. Okay, the manganate is a solution. And what does it tell you? It tells you the concentration and it tells you the volume. Okay, 2.25 times 10 to the minus 2 times 10 to the minus 2 is the concentration. And the volume, what did it tell you for the volume? 13.2 centimeters cubed. Okay, 13.2 centimeters cubed. Okay, what else does it tell you? Required to reach the end point. So in this part here, the Vn plus ions are oxidized in the titration. The Vn plus ions are oxidized back to VO3 minus ions. So it's going back to VO3 minus ions. And um, it gives you the half equation, the half equation there as well. MnO4 minus um, is uh, reduced to Mn2 plus. So let's put that there, Mn2 plus. Okay, so all I've done there is taken stage one, stage two, stage three. I've taken all of that text and written it in a simpler, simpler form. Okay, and those equations are not balanced yet. Okay, so how do I start this question? The question, seven marks, you need to determine the value of N in the Vn plus ions. We need to find out N. Okay, well, what's our starting point? What's our doorway into this? Okay, so one way into this is you've got a mass here. You've got a mass of vanadium. So what can you work out with a mass of vanadium? You can work out the moles of vanadium. So you've got a mass, and I'm going to divide it. I should perhaps have drawn a box around it. Let's get rid of the box. Whoop. Okay. You've got a, um, a mass of vanadium. So we're going to divide it. A mass divided by relative atomic mass. I will give you the moles, and that's 50.9. So mass divided by relative atomic mass gives you the moles. Uh, and I hope you're doing this on your calculator as well at the same time. That gives the moles of 2.475 um, times 10 to the minus 3. I hope you're double checking this. Times 10 to the minus 3 times 10 to the minus 3 moles. Oops, sorry, run out of room. Moles. So that's the moles of vanadium. Okay? So if that's the moles of vanadium that was reacted with the acid, what's the moles of VO3 minus going to be? Well, it's 1 to 1. 1 to 1. So the moles is going to be exactly the same. 2.475 times 10, whoops, times 10 to the minus 3 moles. Okay, the moles is going to be exactly the same because the ratio is um, 1 to 1. And then that moles is the same as that moles, which is the same as that moles. Okay, so 1 to 1 to 1. But here in stage 3, you only take 10 centimeters cubed. Okay, so this is 50 centimeters cubed, but now you've only got 10 centimeters cubed. So what do we need to do to the moles? We need to divide by 5. Okay, so we need to divide by 5 because it's 10. We only want 10 and we've got 50. So we're going to rub this out to make a little bit of room. So we're going to take, um, I'm going to use a different color. Well, I'm going to use blue. So we're going to take the moles, 2.475 times 10 to the minus 3. Take the moles, and I'm going to divide by 5, because we only want um, a tenth of it. Yeah, and when you do that calculation, when you do that calculation, you divide by 5, then your answer that you get um, I hope you're doing it on your calculator. 4.9 4 
five times 10 to the minus four moles. Okay, right, manganate. We've got a volume and we've got a concentration here for manganate. Okay, so we can edit this. We've got a concentration and we've got a volume. Volume times concentration divided by a thousand equals moles. Okay, volume times concentration divided by a thousand equals moles. Okay, so that will give us the moles of manganate. The moles of manganate. So that answer is, when we do that, is uh, do it on your calculator, 2.97 times 10 to the minus 4 moles. Okay, so what we've worked out now, let's just make it clear what we've worked out. We've got the moles of the vanadium ion, 4.95 times 10 to the minus 4, that's in moles. Okay, we've got the moles of the manganate, which uh, we worked out as 2.97 times 10 to the, again, minus four moles. And we know that that makes VO3 minus plus um, MN2 plus. It's not balanced, it's obviously not balanced, yeah? Okay, we need these molar ratios, right? So how much, what's the molar, the stoichiometry in this equation? So we've got the moles of VM plus and the moles of manganate. So if we divide by the smallest, if we divide by the smallest, that will give us the ratio. Apologies, I should be doing this in black, really. Okay, so divide by the smallest. And that gives you, I'm going to revert back to black. So that gives you one, two, the ratio, the smallest whole number ratio is one, two, what are you doing on your calculator? It is one to one point um, six 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 six, so one point six seven. Okay, so we need a whole number ratio. Now you should recognize that one point six seven is one and two thirds. Okay, you should recognize that one and two thirds is actually five over three. Okay, so the ratio is five over three to one. So if we times, um, if we times through by the number three, then that will give us a whole number ratio, and the whole number ratio is five to one. Whole number ratio is five to one. So how does that help us? Well, we now know there are. Oh, sorry, I'm going to write it in a different spot. Rub it out. We now know that there are five Vm plus. We know that there are three MnO4 minus. And uh, we know that it makes VO3 minus, which there must be five of those because there's five vanadiums, five vanadiums, and there must be three Mn2 plus. Okay. Now, there are different ways to establish, to work out a redox equation. And uh, I'm going to use the method that I use in my, uh, my video about redox titrations and redox equations. Um, so you need the half equation. Now, they do give you the half equation, one of the half equations. Here they give you one of the half equations. So I'm just going to copy that. MnO4 minus, MnO4 minus, whoops, plus 8H plus, um, plus, um, is it five electrons? I think I have to go back quickly to it, quickly double check. Oh, five electrons gives you Mn2 plus, plus uh, four water. So they give you that half equation. And that half equation plus a second half equation gives you the overall redox equation, right? The overall redox equation. So that half equation plus a second one gives you the overall redox equation. 
Now the first thing that we notice when you add up the left and you add up the right is that there's three manganates, yeah? So we're gonna need to times the top equation by three. So three, um, eight, 16, 24, that's gonna be 24 H plus, that's gonna be 15 electrons, that's gonna be three, and that's gonna be 12. Okay, so times everything at the top by three, but that's because there's three manganates. So this half equation here must have five Vm plus and five Vo3 minus. And how many electrons? Well, there must be 15 electrons because there's 15 electrons on the left. And so there must be 15 electrons on the right because the two half equations add up together to get the overall equation. And it's not balanced. It's okay that it's not balanced. You can see that in my other video, okay? So we cancel out the fives, okay? So three electrons. So vanadium here is in the oxidation state plus five. So vanadium is in the oxidation state plus five, okay? And, and um, three electrons have been lost um, um, from the, the vanadium over on this side. So this must be vanadium, this must be vanadium plus two. Okay, plus, plus two is plus five and three electrons is plus two. So we now know that the N is two plus. Okay, the N is two plus, all right? And then once we know that, writing the overall redox equation is a lot more straightforward and there are, again, there are different ways to do this. The way that I do it is total up the charge. The total up the charge on the left. The total charge is 10 plus and 3 minus, which is plus 7. Just run myself a little message there. Um, the total charge on the right is um, 6 plus and minus 5 is plus 1. We've not used the H plus yet. So if we put... 6H plus here, then that will be balanced. And therefore we need then need three waters here. And like I said, ideally, we need to um, watch the uh, redox equation um, video, which will help, which will help with this. And that is your answer. It's V2 plus, and that's the overall, um, the overall um, um, uh, redox equation.